Hello everyone, this is One Block Forward, and today I'm going to be doing a math lesson. Ooh, awesome. Well, no, whatever. So today I will be covering perimeter. Hang on, hang on, let me get out of F5 mode. Oops. Um, we will be covering perimeter, area, and volume. Okay, got that out of the way. Um, so we are going to be using objects around the server to figure out the perimeter, area, and the volume. So let's find ourselves a dent in the ground. Or whatever we find first, like a cubic square thing. Ah, here we go. This. We will find the perimeter of this. And is this square? Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, hang on. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's a square. Okay, so, so to find the perimeter, we need to add all of the sides. And since this is a square, we can do multiplication or addition. Multiplication will take less time. Um, ah, the way I do it, I just do two sides plus the other two. So here we have seven, like I counted, and then seven this way, seven that way, seven that way. Um, so we add them all up. First, this is how I do it. You can do here seven, seven is fourteen. Another seven, seven, fourteen. So fourteen plus fourteen is um, here. Let, let's actually put it in the sign. So, um, so let's put. So here we got. Oops. Um, we got seven, seven plus seven, oops, seven plus seven, and then equals fourteen, then fourteen times with the x, with the x times two, and then that equals. Okay, so let's do this the easy way, even though I know probably everyone out there are mathematicians, but let's just go over this together. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. So, 28! Hooray! So the uh, perimeter of this is... So, perimeter is 28. There we go. Perimeter is 28. Now, let's do the area of a different... Let's do the area of a different... Oh, this one. Let's just... Cover that up. Okay, so let's do the per, the area of this one. Okay, so this looks like a rectangle-ish thingy. So here we have to find the area. We multiply one side times another side. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like our other one. So let's put a sign here. It says seven. Then here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. So seven times eight. Eee. I don't like math. Okay, so let's put this. Let's let's do this the easy way. So we so seven seven times eight. Let's see. Okay. So we know that eight times let's do let's do this easy. So eight times six is forty-eight. Then plus another eight. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Fifty. Fifty-one. Fifty-two. Fifty-three. Fifty-four. Fifty-five. Fifty-six. So the area is fifty-six. Area is fifty-six. There we go. So we can just destroy these. And I bet whoever's gonna come around is gonna be like, what? Area is 56, perimeter is. what was it? Perimeter is 28? I don't get it. Okay, so now it's for the hard part. We have. oh, it's April Fool's today, by the way. Um, but there's not. there seems to be nothing April Fooly. Like last year, everyone's skin was turned to a villager. But now, nothing has changed. I bet they're probably going to put, like, TNT somewhere. I don't know. Um, so let's find something that we can use the volume of. 
Okay, City Hall is just too big. So, oh, let's do this yellow thing that we passed by earlier. So, we do the length times the width times the height. So, this is the length. So, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh, there's so many sevens. So, um, hang on. Up, uh, length. Don't, don't length. Length is seven. Length is seven. Now let's try the width. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another seven. Okay. Um, so width is seven. So that's the width. Now let's do the height. One, two, three, four. So the height is four. Let's put it on the side. Oops. Height is four. Okay, so do the length times the width. Seven times seven, so seven times five. Hang on, so seven times five is thirty-five. 45, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So 49 times 4. 49 times 4. This is going to be hard. So let's break it up. 49 times 4 equals... Oh, the TV is on, by the way. Okay, so... 9 times 4 is 36. 36, so you carry the 3 over. 4 times 4 is 16. 16, 17, 18, 19. So 100. Okay, where is it? 190. Whoa, 196. So we know volume is 196. There's the volume. And hooray! So we did random objects on the server and we figured out the perimeter. Uh, let's see. Perimeter. We did the perimeter over here. Oh, wait. Oh, I know how this one works. Okay. So, where's my bow? My bow! And so, we did perimeter and together we got 28! Oh my god! What is this? Sorry, close the track. You. Oh my gosh! Who was playing with the command blocks? The center is supposed to be. It's supposed to be you win, but now the outside is you win. The center is. Sorry, close the track. Yeah. Then the middle is. Do you need a lawyer? That's that's really interesting. Okay, then we did the area. Area is 56. And then, oh, I need to destroy the volume signs. And over here, away from the other two, we did the volume. So we can get rid of that. Just get rid of the length. Get rid of the width. Get rid of the height. Volume is 196. So hooray everyone! Congrats! Okay. So there's a haunted house. Okay. So so I hope you guys learned a lot about the perimeter, area, and volume. Oh wait, no, I'm not done. Okay. So the perimeter shows the outside. What? Mind geeks rule, mind geeks rule. Oh, that's weird. Oh whatever. Um, so yeah. So the perimeter it's like, whoa. The perimeter, think of it as a backyard. Perim perimeter is the outside of the backyard. Like, let's see City Hall. Like, the railway, pretend it goes, like, all the way around. That would be the perimeter. The area is the space inside. So when you use perimeter, like, if you were to build a fence, you'd need another perimeter. If you were to plant some new grass or plant some flowers around, it, all inside your backyard, you would need to know the area. Now, volume, I'm not really that sure, unlike most of the things you use volume for, but I do know that for volume, 
it's all, it's like, it's technically the area of a 3D shape. Oh, while I'm at it, I should go over surface area. Okay, so surface area, kind of difficult because, you know, surface area, like, it's for the 3D shape. So it's like, hey, wait a minute, I thought volume was the area for, uh, for, for a 3D shape. Yes, myself, it is. But the surface area it are like the total blocks on the outside. So the surface area is like the perimeter of the 3D shape. So let's do the surface area of something different. Like... Oh, this is hard. Oh, I should have did this for volume. Oh, wait. It's not filled in, so we can't. Okay. So... For the surface area, we would count all of these, all of the sides. Like, in, rather than just counting, you could... Wait, is that a chip? Is that a chip? No, that's not a chip. Okay, so you would do this, this side, that times that side. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times 5, 25. This, this is 2, 5, 1. That's 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh. So you got ourselves 25 and 35. Oh, yeah, that up. 25, 35. So 20 and 30 make 50, plus the two fives, that would be 60. So we know the surface area of this, 60. I shouldn't have gotten rid, gotten rid of my sign. Okay, so surface area is, oops. Is 60. Can't believe I, how smart you guys are. And and okay. Okay, this dude has an eye patch. Good for him. Okay. So whose horse is this? Oh, don't know. Okay. So this is it, guys. That was all you needed to know, to know about. Perimeter, area, volume, and surface area. Oh, by the way, we forgot to take down the Derp Day decorations, but I don't care. Because Derby Day is awesome. And we... Okay. So, this is it, guys. Can't believe we're saying goodbye. It's so dramatic. No, just kidding. Okay. So, see you guys. And hopefully you learned a little bit. And if you didn't, too bad for you. Um, but anyway, so if you would like to learn more about, if you would like to learn more about these, then just say so. Just say it. Just, just say it out loud. Shout out your feelings. Shout out your feelings into the box. Whoa. Shout your feelings into the box. Wait, hang on. I need paper and anvil. I didn't plan this out, so I didn't have it done already. But whoever goes in there is gonna have a big surprise. So let's add this. Shout out your feelings into the box of feelings. So, you can do this on your own server, or if you play on my server, you can do it on mine. Make a paper? Make it titled My Feelings with an exclamation point. Put it in the chat. There, you shouted out your feelings in the box. Congratulations. Clap, 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 clap. Okay, so this is one box forward. Signing off.